Her night vision is probably fake. Why does she have two different monos? What's that on your left eye? Your setup doesn't make any sense. This is a thermal you read. So I'm about to drop some Asian wisdom on you. If you agree with this quote, you have to hit subscribe. The only true key to happiness is having bigger muscles and better kit than the other guy. Sun Tzu, I don't make it up. Subscribe. So despite having this set up for over a year now, I have only recently learned the term dual bander. And for those of you who don't know, myself included until recently, dual bander is someone who runs a night vision and thermal at the same time on different eyes. And ever since I learned this term and started using it, Everyone around me has just non-stop been calling me cringe. <laughs> and for good reason, because they can't do it. That's right. Dual banding is not for everyone. It's not for the faint of heart. So just briefly to kind of lay, lay, the, lay the land a little so you know what's on my head. I have a Photonus Echo Gen 2 Plus PBS 14. I know, poor, poor, call me poor in the comments, uh, with a protective iris lens from Cold Harbor Supply. And then I have an infrared MH25 Mini V2 thermal monocular on my left eye. The bridge is something I customized myself from the panel bridge at home created by this person. And I kind of made my own mini rail adapter and customized dovetail, blah, 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 blah. You don't care. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Um, Wendy Bump, AliExpress, Amp Arms, Howie's power bank at the back as a counterweight for, to power the thermal, of course. And that's my setup. I don't think any of you actually care that much about exactly what I'm running because I don't expect any of you to actually try to buy exactly what I have. But if you guys are interested in buying night vision, <laughs> I have a code for you, T97Thought-5, 5% off your next purchase in the link down below. Thank you, Cold Harbor Supply, for partnering with my channel. So the reason why this setup is so challenging is because our seeing orbs and Aba brains are not programmed to simultaneously process two different images with two different color scales and brightnesses at the same time, okay? Especially when the thermal is digital, meaning it will have latency. Mine is a rectangular screen, smaller FOV than a night vision monocular. And you already you probably already know how small a vi night vision monocular FOV is. And it nukes every now and again, which means it freezes to recalibrate the thermal sensor, yada, yada, yada. So in essence, you are kind of looking through a night vision monocular that's pretty consistent and then this thermal thing is kind of just following around the image of the night vision monocular that's kind of what you're dealing with and to most people they might not be able to get the images to align even um they'll see like two images one on the right one on the left or they'll just get motion sickness and their head will hurt and yada 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 some people get on their first try some people get on their 10th try some people never adjust which is why people don't like dual banding it's not a very good not a very universal solution to the problem that is combining night vision with thermal imaging people who have tried my setup have complained "Ooh, head hurty Ooh, my head's spinning i feel like i'm on a boat um tripping and falling my first point valid second point skill issue do, do better. better but i really understand where they're coming from because it took me a couple tries a couple hours of walking around in the woods with both eyes on to really adjust to having both images be different like that but if you look through a cody uh, or clip-on thermal there is also latency like that as well but it's less prominent because either you have binos or you have a mono and your other eye can see like the ambient light it's not as disorient when i look through my setup as aforementioned there's latency so sometimes the images don't align perfectly and especially when i run around it takes a little bit time for it to adjust but what I find myself doing is that it's kind of like toggling different windows on a computer 
when I'm walking around, running, or shooting, I tend to focus my attention straight only on the night vision side uh, to take that shot. Or if I'm more stationary, moving more slowly, I have uh, my focus on the left eye with a the thermal. It's also way easier to follow your teammates around if you have a thermal. Truth be told, I do find myself flipping up the thermal sometimes because when you're shooting at targets that don't have thermal signature, you kind of just get a, a mess of gray and orange in your left eye and you can't really tell what's going on. It's kind of distracting when you're trying to make a, a difficult shot with your right eye. Uh, especially when it's an 8-inch steel gong that's slightly obscured by brush in a clusterfuck tree line about 150 yards away. Like, I can't do both eyes when I'm trying to do that. But that's mainly because the gong doesn't have a thermal signature. I'm sure if it did, it would be a little bit easier to manage. Although there are some obvious downsides to using dual banding, it does come with some obvious upsides. For example, I think the most obvious, like biggest thing that um, dual banding allows you to do is use a full power thermal monocular that has better detection range and resolution than a clip-on thermal, which I'll be calling a Cody for the rest of the video. However, if you have fusion money, you are the call of duty paid anime skin user. We don't like you. We think you smell bad. I'm joking. Please subscribe. Controversial opinion source the voices in my head. If you are bothering to invest in a thermal at all, there's probably a couple of reasons why you would do that. One, to get the drop on someone in Minecraft, of course. Uh, two, to completely avoid conflict altogether. Or three, to gather information. And in all three of those cases, in my opinion, according to the rats in my floorboards, you would want better detection range and resolution. And I think that would make you die less. Not to mention, if dual banding doesn't work for you, you could always hand thermal. And there are thermal monoculars that can also be used as a scope. Like a bitch. Cody's are just also super finicky and kind of dangle on the front of your nod. They, they're easily like hit by like random things. And also the weight is further away from your face. So you're going to feel that like gravitational pull a little bit more than if you had it closer to your head, like how I have right now. Besides all that, the biggest downside to Cody's is that they can't be used during the daytime. And daytime is half of the time all the time so i don't think people really talk about this obvious downside um enough because your thermal monocular still operates when the sun is up and for people who are into hunting or farmers take notes who are trying to get rid of pests or hogs on their property i feel like a thermal monocular would be a better addition to their kit than a Cody. And a Cody, obviously, you have to have a night vision monocular to use in the first place. Whereas even if you don't have night vision, you can still buy the thermal monocular, depending on what you're trying to do with it. Honestly, night vision is just so subjective that it's really difficult to say whether one setup is objectively better than the other, uh, other than like based on specs or tech or what have you. And even if you boil it down to specs, some people are willing to compromise on certain specs over others. Me personally, I would compromise on having lower gain for higher SNR, whereas some people are the opposite. But there's one setup that I refuse to respect and that's you digital night vision users. Yeah, you. We think you're poor, you're ugly, you smell bad, we don't like you. And we all, all of us, we can see your IR light from miles away, okay? You're not sneaking up on anyone. Just, I don't know, sell it to some schmuck and get some real analog night vision. You look silly. This is embarrassing. It's time to stop. Where the fuck are your parents? My advice is to not be a socially inept retard. I know, rich coming from me. But night vision and thermals is something that just looks so different in person and when you have it on your eyes that you can't really know what works with you and what you'd like without actually trying it first which is why most people recommend going to demos or finding friends 
that you could try their equipment with. Um, the reason I got into dual banding was because my friend got into dual banding and then I'm like, dude, this is so cool. And then here we are, $10,000 deep CAD, of course, especially, especially when you add walking, hiking and shooting into the mix. Like it's really better to just try it in person first before you end up spending thousands of dollars on your setup. If you're in Canada like me, oh, I know Canada. Um, Cold Harbor Supply hosts a lot of demos. They have like a site or something where they talk about that stuff all the time. I don't know, man. Um, I might seem like I'm glazing them a lot, but they put up with me. So I think that speaks volumes. So that's my night vision and thermal setup. I think this video has been a long time coming. People have been curious seeing it in my videos for a long time. It's really not that complicated. If you're more interested in like the tech and whatnot, Cold Harbor Supply again, that's where I got it from. So their website would have the most accurate information. Source me, really? Like, come on. Be sure to roast me in the comments. Tell me how, how garbage how trash my setup is and how many thousands of dollars i actually need to spend to get a better setup or to move to america or something i don't know but also let me know what your setup is and or what setup you wouldn't want to buy someday and remember that at the end of the day we're just all terminally online losers who are getting absolutely tossed tossed by the people in power so stay humble grab your balls give them a little twist Peace.